Hi, I'm Heidi Murkoff, author of What to Expect When You're Expecting. Becoming a mom is always life-changing. Yet the truth is, without the proper care before, during, and after pregnancy and delivery, it can also be life-threatening, unpredictably dangerous for mother and baby, resulting in costly and sometimes devastating complications, long-term disability, even worse. Healthy futures start with healthy beginnings, and that starts with a healthy woman having the contraception and reproductive care she needs to plan a healthy pregnancy and the prenatal care she needs during that pregnancy to nurture and safely deliver a healthy baby. Care that, before the ACA mandated it, many women could not afford and at times went without. For me as a mom and as a grandmother, it's unconscionable to think of maternity care as anything but an essential health benefit, probably the most essential, fundamental of health benefits. To think of a woman going without regular prenatal care simply because she can't afford it, not seeking care until it's too late, using the ER as a last resort instead of visiting a doctor or midwife for vital monthly prenatal checkups, waiting until complications have taken a tragic toll on mom's life or babies or both, all in the wealthiest nation on the planet. But that's exactly what could happen if we allow the ACA to be repealed or sabotaged or Medicaid to be gutted. Under proposed GOP bills, states could opt out of requiring maternity care as an essential health benefit, which three quarters of states, by the way, did before the ACA made it mandatory. Thinking you might like a healthy pregnancy, a healthy baby, and a safe delivery one day? Depending on where you live, get ready to pay up. You could be charged a minimum surcharge of $12,000 a year for even just-in-case protection for yourself and the baby you've been dreaming of. Medicaid, which currently pays for nearly half of all births in the U.S., will be slashed under this reprehensible plan, potentially putting scores of moms and babies at risk. Lifetime and annual caps could be put back on coverage, including your employer-based insurance, resulting in astronomic costs for families who experience a complicated birth or a baby with birth-related disabilities, which of course no family plans for and virtually none can afford. Also on the chopping block, coverage for contraception, the foundation of safe reproductive care. Not feeling especially compassionate, more concerned about costs? Well, here's a reality check. Preconception and maternity care are a bargain as the ultimate in preventive care, possibly preventing a lifetime of costly care from NICU to long-term care for disabilities, from type 2 diabetes to future hypertension. It's the ultimate in cost effectiveness too. Just do the math and you'll see. We will save billions later by providing relatively inexpensive care for all expecting moms now. Besides, let's face it, the cost of a healthy baby priceless, worth far more than a tax cut for the wealthy, don't you think? I know we can all agree, taking care of our moms and babies shouldn't be a partisan issue. There are no red moms or blue moms, no red babies or blue babies. It's a fundamental human issue. And health care for every woman, every mom, every baby, every child is a fundamental human right. As members of the same human family, not members of political teams in a political game, it's up to us to fulfill that right, without exception. We shouldn't be thinking of repealing or replacing the ACA. We should be insisting on improving it so it protects far more moms and babies and children, all of them in fact. Expand Medicaid, don't slash it. The CDC estimates that 60% of maternal deaths are preventable, and so are thousands of infant deaths. Let's prevent more of them by expanding family planning and prenatal care in states like Texas, where maternal death rates have soared as reproductive care has been stripped away, ironically in the name of life. Let's unite as a human family to speak up for every mom and every baby. Let's ensure them the care that they need to have the healthy start in life they deserve before they're born, even before they're conceived. Let's remind those who speak powerfully and passionately about protecting life. A commitment to life must be a lifetime commitment, one that never comes with a lifetime cap. Let's protect and improve the ACA like our future depends on it. Because honestly, it does.